What's up, everybody? Today I'm going to be doing the whale review and uh, um, 2022 review movie. And before we get into that, I, I want to say I hope everyone's having a good day today. And if you haven't got to my channel, hit the notification bell because I upload reactions, reviews, whether it's a show or a movie. I do. I do even fan film reactions, which I probably will be doing a reaction over, um, I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna be doing a reaction over, uh, what's it called? The Friday the 13th fan film called, um, what's the name of it? Damn, I forgot it. What's the name of this movie? Then, I forgot. You know what? You all you'll see whenever it gets uploaded today and i can't wait to upload that later today even though i'll be next to it i've done the first like 15 minutes of film and i, I got off because because i had to attend to uh my college work i don't know why it's, the camera is like that i might switch it to uh the other one just because this one's acting up a lot I it. It looked like it. Anyways, before we get, I fix it. I'm gonna say that also, also do, uh, community pose. And whoever subscribes to my channel, I give them a shout out, like, every month, monthly. And like, it technically goes from, like, the last one, last time I did a, uh, shout out was on, Valentine's Day, I probably will do one, most likely, or something, sometime next week, if I do get a chance, just because, uh, I was doing my screen break, if I don't do it by then, I'll do it the week afterwards. So, just keep that in mind. Uh, if you don't, also, I do give shout out to every request a video for me to act to, or at least any video in general, I will do it. Depending what it is, if I don't do it, it's because I don't, I don't know, if, depends what it is, it really depends. If I say no, it's because I chose not to do it, but I'm free to do anything else besides that type of topic. Say if I do a prank, it went too, if it's too far, I will not do that. I don't like doing pranks unless it's like, Regular things that you could easily forgive someone for, like, say, for instance, doing videotaping them, like I did, but my shorts I did on, up to, like, on TikTok I did. Um, I do, also, I do do edits of shows, movies, or, or whatever. And those are really good, high views and likes. And a lot of, a lot of y'all like that. So, yeah. Um, what else I do on this channel? I also do, uh, gameplays of Dead by Daylight, Mortal Kombat 11, um, The Last of Us, Part 1, which I haven't, I, I'm just in the beginning of The Last of Us. And that's so sad, it's because I was afraid of playing it. I, pl I, I played it back four or five years ago, I played it. And I never finished it, just because I, I kept on avoiding it for many reasons because it was too scary. That's the one big reason it was too scary for me. And I do get jump scared real, real easily. And I will be doing a, I do, I am getting a camera for my PlayStation 4. So you're going to see my eyes, my face reactions. Whenever I do get jump scared. So keep that in mind. You're going to probably laugh. You're going to laugh at me because I do get scared real easily. And I do, and I also do what's it called Friday 13th, um, and as well. I want to play as well, um, the Friday that, and the financial phrase games, but I'm too afraid. They, they are too much jump scares, y'all. I have too much jump scares. And yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, that's what I'll do in this channel, but if you like all that, Subscribe to my channel because I, if you want to, it's just if you want to, not because I want you to. Well, I, I do want you to subscribe to my channel, but it's your option or opinion if you want to subscribe to the channel. 
But yeah. But let's get into the main part of this video. Is that's uh my review over the well. And I watched this movie last week, and I uh I say can't tell you right now. But if you all haven't seen it. The genre is drama, and it is mentioned on Wikipedia. It's a psychological drama, which I really don't see. But I'm gonna fix this camera. This camera is all over. This looks very bad. Let's see this one. <laughs> Yeah, I think this one's a little better. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, because I'm doing video. Let's see why it's just not working. But, yeah. Uh, that's what it's been told. But, if you haven't, this is the plot of the story without giving too much details. Um. Uh, Ch Charlie, a man that is unhealthy and reclusive and who is dying is desperate to reconnect with his daughter, a uh, teenage daughter named Ellie, for his last chance at redemption. Um, the movie is starring, of course, Brandon Fraser, which is... I will talk about him in just a sec, but... Um, it's also star Shady Sink from Stranger Things. If you haven't seen Brandon Fraser, he's from Encino Man, and a bunch of other movies, but the only movie I've seen him in is Casino Man. I probably have seen him in other movies, but that's the only one that I've seen him in that I know of at the moment. And he did a good, I like that movie, Casino Man. You should see it as well. Um, see, seeing from Stranger Things and um, the Fear Street movies, and I loved her in this movie. Um, Hong Chu, I mean, I never. I don't think I've seen her in any movies, but to be honest, she was good in this movie. She plays Liz. Um, and Ty Skip Simpkins. Um, he's Thomas. And I'll talk about him later too. And Samantha Morton as Mary. I have never seen her. I don't know if I've seen her in any movies, but she does her face of her. She does my, look like someone I may have seen her in a movie or so, but I can't think of any movie that's as of right now I've seen her in. And as Ty Skimpins, I've seen him in, what's it called? Insidi Insidious. And so all the, like, the Insidious movie, part one and two. And I don't know, but we'll count the last one, because the last, the last key, I wouldn't think that's, I would say he's in that movie, but then I don't know. It's kind of confusing. Uh, yeah. What I liked about this movie is that the strong acting the movie has so much strong acting that I am, I am, that made the movie even much better, the strong acting. You gotta have strong acting in movies, whether it's a horror or a comedy. It depends, like, that to be, you have to, I guess in comedy, you kind of do have to have strong acting in a way, just because you are, um, what's it called, trying to make someone laugh, and you can't really make someone laugh if you're not trying to, um, what's it called, um, what's the name of it? I forgot the name of it, but you call. To make it more appear, I guess more people could at least laugh at what you're doing. Like they have the Medea movie, 
I like all the Medea movies like that. A horror movie, you have to act like you're scared, but sometimes it could be hard because you know what the, what's going to happen. But sometimes in horror movies, they do what they're good in, like that. I think, well, the screen movies, I don't think they really, they do do good acting, like, um, Sydney, she did really good, like, Nev Campbell, she did really good playing Sydney, and Gail, uh, what's it called, Courtney Cox did really good playing Gail, and, um, do you have got his name, who his name was, but yeah, he did, they all did really good playing those roles. But yeah, like, that's how you put to act like in horror movies and dramas, you have to look really good because you get to your emotional and physical appearance and, uh, your attitude correct. But anyway, to perform all the characters like, uh, Barry and Fraser, he did an excellent job playing Charlie. I think, no one really done a better act, like, would have done a better, uh, job than him. So you think, she did an excellent job. She was funny in this movie. I mean, it's, it's a drama, but she, the way she is, like, that snarky little attitude she has in this film is really good. Um, Hong Chu, who, who plays Liz, she was really good. A very supportive friend. It's, was there for Charlie the entire time in the movie. She's really good. She, you know, she cares about him, and she like one of his like, especially since they're friends in this movie. I one thing that's a, a spoiler or not, but if it is, I'm sorry to let y'all know that. But still, um, the uh, so Tess Simpkins, who plays Thomas, there's a little twist on his character, but. I ain't gonna say here what it is. Um, his character was really good in this movie. Along with Mary, who plays the mom of Ellie and the ex ex wife of uh, Charlie in this movie. Um, she did really go good in this movie. I, don't, I can't, still can't remember what I seen her in. The storyline was very, really good. I'll be honest. I think. There's a, uh, they didn't, uh, like, I, excuse me, like, it didn't feel boring, I wasn't bored of the movie, because I actually watched the whole movie, I was getting, uh, like, I didn't want anyone to bother me the, at all, during, or even after, like, I didn't let anyone bother me when I was watching this movie, because I really wanted to know what's going on, and I, I completely loved it. The uh, third line, the twist, it was really good. There are a couple of twists in this movie, and you'll you'll see in a sec. And whenever you watch it, the intensity of of Charlie uh, is really good. Like he's in. There's a couple of parts that are very intense, like a little dark, and not dark, but like kind of suspenseful in a way, but not like someone chasing someone, but like the anger and like the background so, like uh background I don't know it's mean like the what's the name of it like the background music I'll say background music if you get what I mean. That was really good. And that's about all the things I really loved in this movie. The things I dislike is just that they are like kind of putting down God or like some, I I think they're I don't know if they I don't know that's only part I was a little confused I don't know if they were putting down God like they can't like God's not a good person or not like God is a good person I don't think God would care wouldn't would care if you're like like you are part of the LGBT community because um God will set for you because God is a person that cares for anyone in in need and he loves any he loves everyone in my opinion. Um because I have a cousin that is I don't say who let's let's call them uh Cheryl, I guess Cheryl. She she came out to my Parents a couple of years ago, and 
they didn't have no problem with it, and I don't think God even had a problem with it. So I think um, that's the only part I was just a little disappointed on. But overall, the rating of this movie is a 10 out of 10. One of my favorite movies of 2022. I thought I thought this was my top favorite of 2023, but then uh, it it so I saw in 2023, and the movie did come out in 2022. So I uh, would say that's the top 2022 movies I've seen this that year. Well, yeah, I guess, but I'm trying to say yeah, but yeah. Uh, if you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and comment down what videos you want to uh, do. And yeah, um, if you, I definitely recommend this movie if you haven't seen it because if you like movies that gives you like uh, makes you cry or like worried or like anything like in general, you definitely will love this movie, and I definitely recommend it. It's on uh, what's it called free website, and I. You, if you don't, uh, the called, you need that website. I will uh, put it down on the community post, so keep that in mind. And uh, yeah, hope everyone has a good day today, and I'll see y'all later. Thank you for watching.